Big ruling tonight against a popular shoreline restaurant after a stabbing between a Yankees fan and a Red Sox fan. The jury has decided that the chowder pot in Brantford has to pay the victim $4.3 million for letting that happen. News 8's Stephanie Simone is live in New Haven with more. Stephanie. Anna Darren, the stabbing took place about three years ago, and the man has been convicted for that crime. But the attorney filed this civil suit against the restaurant, and today the jury agreed with him, costing the restaurant a heavy price. A baseball rivalry escalated to violence. Now, this whole thing could have been prevented. Attorney Timothy Pothin says Milford's John Mayer first approached New Hampshire's Monty Friere at Branford's USS Chowder Pot and said, you, you guys must be Red Sox fans. He immediately chimed in and said, this is Yankees territory. You're not welcome here. But it didn't stop at banter. Pothin says Mayer harassed Friere and his friends. They asked the bartender for help to intervene, and the bartender chose not to even speak to Mr. Mayor to control his behavior in any way. Soon afterward, he says Mayor got up and pushed by Friere's group. Again, they requested help from the bartender. They pointed Mayor out to the bartender, uh, and the bartender ignored him. Uh, chose to do nothing whatsoever. Tension heightened and Mayor stabbed Friere in the neck. He's now serving prison time for the attack. Nobody, not my client, not the bartender, nobody saw the weapon before this happened. But what if the bartender was worried for his own safety in the situation? Then he should have called the police or he should have called the manager who was on duty to provide security on the premises. Pothin says Friere was in the hospital nearly two months. He suffers from a traumatic brain injury. Hospital bills total around $1 million. The jury awarded him a total of $4.3 million. Poffin says the bartender still works part-time at the popular restaurant. He made a mistake that night, and fortunately the jury, uh, the very attentive jury, uh, decided to hold the chowder pot accountable for his negligence, for his malfeasance. Now we went down to the charter, chowder pot this afternoon. I talked to the general manager. He declined to comment. I also called the attorneys that represent this restaurant, and they have not gotten back to me tonight. Live in New Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8.